F8, F8. So we're taking off where we left off and we're going to make this look a little bit more like the actual design that we want to have. So let's start from the top and sort of work our way down. So I already have my header there, but this does need a background on it. So let's add the background. And the background for that one is uh, the F8, 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 which is a really light color. And you can't really see it too well. So I'm going to make it a bit darker for now. Just make it pink so we can see it. And we do see we have a bit of a problem with um, the it's not touching the sides of our page. And while we're here, let's just give this a padding on the top and bottom. Um, I'm going to put 2M and 0 just as a rough estimate. And we can always modify that, but I think it will work nicely. The reason I'm doing 2M is just through experience. I know that 16, 1M is 16 pixels, 2M is going to be 32 pixels. That sounds about right to me. Um, it's one of those things that I practice with. I try and just use round numbers on my M's. One thing and one piece of advice I will give you in giving padding to things is try not to go too small. But we're based on a design and I think 2M is going to match my design more or less. I'm not aiming to make it pixel perfect. I'm just making aiming to make it look as close as I can. But sorry, I got sidetracked. We have this, this problem of the space around. So how can I fix that? I want you to go and do it before I do. So hopefully you came up onto here and you did your, not main, your body and put in a margin of zero on there. At the same time, while I'm here, if I look at this, and I also know the whole design, but I have this subtitle here, and this is using Ubuntu, and only the title is using Laura. So what I'm actually going to do, and I also, I, you haven't seen it, but I've seen the whole design for this. I'm also going to take the Ubuntu font family and put it on the entire thing. So I don't have to redeclare it um, throughout any of these other things. The font size, I'm going to leave alone. The color for now, I'm going to leave alone as well. But maybe when we get to the full site and we see the whole layout, we can worry about adding a color on the body. For the header itself, I think that is good, except we want to switch this now to our F8, F8, F8. Now we want to start doing some type. As I said, I usually do my type after my body. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to make this a pretty big section. So when I say a big section, I just put this big thing at the top and I'm going to write type type for a word. <laughs> I say all the time. I have a lot of trouble saying it. <laughs> there we go. Typography. And I'm going to come down and we can start styling that up. So I have my H1. And for some reason, everything here is indented. So let's fix that. There we go. Uh, is everything indented? Uh, so I have my H1, and let's give this the font family of Laura. Actually, we should just copy and paste to be a little bit faster. Um, now, one thing you might notice, or you might not have noticed, but it is it might be showing as bold for you. It's definitely, I see this as bold. And the reason it's showing as bold is I installed Laura on my computer. And as we know, all the headings by default are bold but I don't want it to be bold. And I didn't even install the bold version. I only have Laura. I only took the link to Google fonts for the regular, but because I have the bold on my computer, I see it, but other people visiting this site might not. So I am going to explicitly say, I want the font weight to be 400 in this case. I did not put that here, but I didn't list bold. I probably should have written Laura regular or Laura 400. Um, and I didn't. So, but I'm going to change my font weight there. And while we're here, we can set the color. So the color for this one is the dark blue, which is 143774. And of course, my font size, which was to, or which is to rem. I'm going to come down now to my subtitle. So my subtitle is a the font family is already OK. The font weight in this case, if you were bold, because I said to write bold in my instructions here. Awesome. It works. If you noticed that in my link, it was 700 all the better. But either one is perfectly fine. I'm going to put 700 because that is what we want to get used to writing. Designers will often say bold or black or extra bold because in the design software, it doesn't use the numbers. It gives the weight. It just gives like a light or a bold or things like that. Developers who work a lot with coders might give you the number, but there are some that won't. So just something to keep in mind along the way. If you wrote bold here, though, it's going to give you the exact same result. So don't worry too much about it. Uh, we'll also do the color, which is 1792D2. Don't forget the hashtag at the beginning or it won't work. And last but not least, my font size, because it needs to be pretty small, which is 0.75 rem. And it's tiny, tiny. Now, um, the one thing I want to do is I want to pull it up. We have way too much space between these. So can you fix that? See if you can fix it and get rid of the space that's on there. So I'm guessing the very first thing you did was put a margin of zero on here and nothing changes. So why did nothing change? I'll give you a second to think about it. Now, maybe you already figured it out and you did it when I first asked you to. And if you, if you did, amazing. That's awesome. Um, the reason nothing changed, though, is while this had a margin top and bottom that we just took off, this also has a margin top and bottom, which is still there. 
And this also has a margin top and bottom on it, which is still there. So this big space underneath is coming from my H1 and this space underneath is coming from my UL here. So on my subtitle, my margin zero is helping, but on my H1, I'm also gonna put a margin of zero on that to suck everything up. It's also gonna balance out that top part I had a little bit better. Now there are a couple of things. The text in this one is all caps and it is spread out a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about that quite yet. We're gonna get into that eventually. Um, the same with these, with their all cap and they're spread out. I'm not going to stress about that. I just want to set up the basics of this for now. We're going to explore typography a lot more in the next module, which is stepping up our style. But for now, we're just worried about responsiveness. So I don't want to overwhelm with too many new properties. Um, so let's get into this navigation now, because we definitely need that to look a little bit better. I tend, because I need to change the color of my nav A, and I need to remove the text decoration of my nav A, I tend to put all of my typography styles for my navigation in the A here. So let's go and do that. I'm gonna say that their text decoration, since we just mentioned that, decoration is none. We can set the color of it, which is the 707070. 70. I can set my font weight to 700. And of course we want our nav A hover here. So this is going to have a color on it and I'm just gonna use the bright blue. So it's really obvious when we're on top of something and it really changes, but I made a mistake. My goodness, what's the mistake that I made? I forgot something. Whenever we have a hover, we should also have a focus state. So I'm gonna add that on there as well. Now, putting the focus on here is not 100% necessary because when we focus, we're going to get um, the browser's default to having a focus state already. So you, I get like this glowing box that shows up on something as well as my hover color right now, but I prefer always making sure that I have a focus state styled that adds more visual impact than what just the default is. It's not 100% necessary, but don't turn off that glowy box. I'm not even going to tell you how to do it right now. Um, and there's one last trick. And that last trick is the underline that's on here. Can you think of a way to do it? It does involve adding another class and everything else. I think you know how to do. So I'm going to let you see if you can figure out how to do that. And in the next video, I'll give you the solution.